Hey everyone, it's Andy with Cherry Arts, and today we're going to do a fun at-home project creating a lima bean germinator. To get started, you're going to need a plastic bag, a paper towel, some glue, water, tissue paper, and a piece of tape. Remove the tape from the bag and place it somewhere for safekeeping. Next, Grab the paper towel, fold it in half, line up those edges, fold it in half again, and then one more time. Now you can do this step at your sink too, but if you happen to have a little dish and a little bit of water, soak the paper towel in the dish and then squeeze out most of the water, but keep it damp. Open your plastic bag and place the paper towel inside. Squeeze out all the air and reseal your plastic bag. The first step is to decorate both or one side of your bag with tissue paper. Start with a straight side and tear off a piece that feels small enough to glue onto the side of your bag. Open your glue stick, add a little to the bag, and then line up the straight side with the straight side of the bag. Adding a little bit more glue and starting with the corners because those are pretty easy to start with. Rip off another sheet of tissue paper, not too big and line up the straight side with the side of your baggie. Continue adding glue to the bag and cutting off or ripping off small pieces of tissue paper to line up with the edge of your bag. You can use any color or shape of tissue paper to make an abstract pattern or a landscape scene. They should be smaller than the baggie and they can overlap in places. Whatever you want that makes you happy. Continue to add pieces where the colors don't touch. I'm going to speed up this part because it's just a lot of gluing and ripping and placing of tissue paper. But the most important part is to leave an opening in the center where the sun can shine through and get to your bean because the water and the sunlight is what makes the bean know that it's time to grow, and that's what's known as germination. While you're gluing, make sure not to go over the pieces of tissue paper too hard because it might rip them. You can glue down your edges in between, or you can leave them sticking up. Really, there's no right way to do this. Just make sure that there's that gap in the middle and then there's enough tissue paper to cover all of the parts of your bag so it looks like a real stained glass. As long as you're having fun, you're doing it right. Let your imagination run wild. Use small pieces, large pieces, round pieces, square pieces, triangle pieces. As you near the end of your project, assess if there's any spaces that are missing any tissue paper. Before they dry, you can usually reposition them a little bit. gluing down all of my edges, but you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. And I'm ripping off the edge of that little piece that was sticking off. I look at the whole thing and I decide if there's any spots that need any more color, and then I decide which ones it's not touching. So yellow goes there, blue goes there, pink goes there. 
Now lima bean. Open your baggie. Place your lima bean inside on top of the paper towel. Press all of the air out of the bag and kind of tap it down so that it adheres to the plastic bag and the paper towel. Reseal the plastic bag. Now you've got a completed stained glass lima bean germinator. The last step is to retrieve your piece of tape, place it on the top of the baggie, and find a window that gets sunlight for about half of the day. Tape your art in the window so that you can enjoy it. While the seed grows, it won't look like anything is happening for about three days. But after three, you'll start to see a sprout. This is how all seeds eventually turn into plants. Enjoy your beautiful stained glass germinator and come back for more videos soon. Tag us with a photo of your artwork at Cherry Arts, hashtag TogetherThroughArt.